Hello and welcome to a tutorial on categories, tags, and a bit of organization. Let's start with that organization. The first thing I want to show you, and this is just a very quick tip and does not matter if you do it or not, is that I often will develop websites that have pages and pages of posts or pages. So for example, up here I've got 29 items and I've got to filter through. Most of the content or work that I end up doing usually has five, six, ten pages that I've got to sort through. Well, the truth of the matter is, is that I often spend time, 90% of my time working on just a few pages and the other 10% working on the other pages. So as an organization tip, we know that um, our titles are going to sort alphabetically. But notice here from an organizational standpoint, I put this little tilde symbol in front of, I'm going to take it out just to show you what the difference would be. I put that in front so that when I organize my posts or my pages, because this works on both, right? Notice that advanced web design is down here. Now, if you're lucky, you can put all the things you need to work on in alphabetical order and away you go. Well, obviously that's not always going to be true. I'm going to do a quick edit here. I'm going to put that tilde in front. And again, I put the tilde in front just so when it sorts in my editor, it sorts alphabetically. Now, once I go and look at the tilde or this particular page online, it, it looks fine. So if I go view it very quickly, you're going to see this little tilde here, but it almost kind of looks decorative. And, you know, if you want to get really fancy or if you are concerned about that being on one side, by all means, put it on both. And then it looks like it's a very intentional design element. So that's an organization tip. The second thing is that let's talk about categories and po uh, categories and tags rather. So all posts are here under uh, my dashboard under posts. And of course I can add a new one. Posts and pages look and feel very similar, except for the fact that under pages, you don't have the option for uh, categories and uh, tags. However, there are plugins out there that you can add that would allow you to add categories and tags to your pages. But the real strength of WordPress is manipulating these posts and manipulating these categories. So the categories of categories is under the word categories. That was an awful lot to say. And I've got a category here called slider. I'm going to actually do a, uh, an imp, uh, quick edit on that. I'm going to do important info, right? And I'm going to click on update that category. So anything that was in that category previously now has the tag of important info and notice that I've got this other tag called uncategorized and most of my content is there. Well, that's not really leveraging the, the power. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, um, put in a couple of categories here. And I'm going to add that new category. And here it is over here. I'm going to pause the video, add some more categories, and I'll be right back. Okay, and I am back. And now you can see that I have put in categories of funny, thoughtful, children's important. I've left the uncategorized category. I do that mainly so that I know that when my posts land there that they haven't been sorted out. Now, putting them in a category here would allow me to kind of classify them in one area. If I wanted to get fancier, I could also put in tags so that posts could live in a primary category, but then you could also tag them. For example, under um, um, let me add one really quickly here, MSCT work. Add a new category. If I had an MSCT, I might take all of the posts that I have for my MSCT work and put them under MSCT. However, I might want to add a tag called core classes or a tag called electives. And then that would allow me to further manipulate and set those out. So let's go ahead and go back and figure out how we're going to put categories on these. We could either open up, if, open up each individually and come over here on the left-hand side and click 
the tags. Notice that I can have multiple tags. So I'm going to click on update. And then when I go back into my post, I will see that there's my tag. Alternately, I can do a uh, quick edit here and choose the MSCT work. Ignore that. And then update. Quick edits are fun and easy. They are exactly what they say they are. It allows you to change some metadata about your particular content. So always use the quick tags when you can. And then you can go down and you can see that I've inadvertently un forgotten to do the uncategorized. So I should go back and do those in a moment. So that's the end of this in terms of putting categories on your tags. Please do that.